The 19-year-old champion basically pulled a move on the 31-year-old Norwegian Magnus Carlsen. Uh, it's Hans Niemann. Um, <clears throat> uh, Carlsen walks away mid, mid, you know, mid-match. Says, "Fuck it, I lose." Uh, and then apparently th- there's some hubbub about the conspiracy involved in this that uh, Niemann, the 19-year-old, had anal beads stuck in his rear end. It was uh, receiving communications from someone who don't know eagle eye some sort of some sort of anal bead camera that snuck out and was <laughs> checking moves ahead of time um your thoughts on the controversy of what took place here at this chess tournament and hey have you guys cheated on any type of exam or big project or or midterm or final go ahead alan i don't i mean Alan's still trying to get it. He's trying to get over how anal beads equals calm. Do chess chess nerds care this much? $350,000. I will shove whatever you like up my asshole to fucking walk home with that purse. Yeah. Six pound bowling ball. One of the little kids ones. Like, like, I don't know that that's, I don't know that that's enough money for that. I mean, (laughs) it is for like, if we're just talking like I guess a standard anal bead, then sure, why not, right? Right. If the gate's gonna guarantee me, if it's gonna guarantee me three fifty, but like, I don't know, it just seems like a wild ass conspiracy theory. I mean, in <laughs> four of I guess if we did do it, how do we prove this? How does one prove the that the anal beads were in there at the time of chessing? <laughs> uh, to, how like how how does that go down? Uh, it's a you great question, I mean? but. I do know that this is a legit story and not just Elon, like, you know, uh, grifting for um, yeah, advertising. Because I saw actually, um, I saw a legitimate news organization, and I can't remember which one, they posted it on their Facebook page. And I was like, okay, so this is a real story. And it kind of goes like this. Alan, they have, um, they have these vibrating beads that you can hook up to a cell phone. And so that you yeah. and your partner, you can be like, hey. Ooh, you like it like that? How about a little? How about a little faster? And yeah. so, the insert bead. No you, boys watching if, the game. If you guys are looking for any last minute forty year old uh, uh, birthday <laughs> birthday gifts, <laughs> I might have. <laughs> because on on some very reputable websites, I've actually seen couples where they're sitting at dinner and uh, uh, homegirl has this inserted, and homeboys like looking over the menu, like, "What do you think about?" Chicken wings, <laughs> <laughs> and then she's trying to uh, not. Uh, she's trying to mop up her seat before the waitress comes. So anyway, somebody would be watching the game, and then as you kind of like hover your hand over a certain piece, somebody would like vibrate the shit out of that thing and be like, "Yep, that's the one. Do that move." Because you're a chess master, you know what each piece is supposed to do. You just don't necessarily know at the time which piece you should move at that moment. So. They, everybody cheats, man. Tour de France, Major League Baseball, professional football, soccer players, and apparently grandmaster chess players. All cheating because at the end of the day, that prize is too big to walk away from without an advanced edge.